Hello, good morning children. Today we are going to do sensorial activities and in sensorial activities we had been saying geometric solids. Geometric solids are these blue shaped figures that we are learning, right? Cube, cuboid, sphere. You remember all of it? Did you go find out the things that are there in your house in those shapes? Like a cube or a cuboid, a cone. Did you check? Good. Now, I'm going to introduce to you the last set. Okay? Just four names. You'll have to remember it. Very easy. You would have come across this first shape. You take a look at this shape. You can also come take a closer look at it. This is called an ellipsoid. If you see, the ellipsoid will be a little pointed towards both sides. Same, same. Okay, ellipsoid. And how does an ellipsoid move? It moves only back and forth. That's all it can move. It cannot go in circles. Let's try and see will it go in circles. Only spinning happens. Okay, it cannot go in circles also. I'll have to force it to turn. What goes straight is only back and forth. That's all happens in an ellipsoid. Okay, so this shape is called ellipsoid. And where have you seen an ellipsoid? You would have seen this in a watermelon. Have you seen the green watermelon? What shape it is? It is very big. Like this. Okay, maybe sometimes you will find these shapes in potatoes also. Then soccer ball. Have you seen the brown soccer ball? The ball with which Americans play? Yeah, that ball will be this shape. Okay, what else is there? The kiwi fruit. Have you tried the kiwi fruit? Just take the, far, the nice fuzzy one, no? Yeah, that kiwi fruit will be ellipsoid shape. It's an ellipsoid. Then probably some soap you might get in ellipsoid shape. Is it not? And some wild fruits also like the neem, neem tree fruit. Have you seen little little green neem tree fruits? When it's lying on the floor you can see it. Maybe in the tree it may be difficult for you to see. But when it is fallen on the ground you will see it will be ellipsoid shapes. So when you look around more closely you will find shapes like this. Okay. Maybe a little more longer. I mean uh, you know a longer like uh, the cucumbers. They go a little more longer but you see both sides will be curved and the central part will be stretched. Okay. So that's called an ellipsoid shape. Okay. Shall we move to the next one and the ellipsoid cannot sit on its own. So what do I have to do? I have to put it on a base so that doesn't keep falling. It cannot sit on its own. Let's try if it can sit. No. No. If I sit like put it like this also it's going to roll. Okay. So best is keep it on a base. Ellipsoid. Will you repeat with me? Ellipsoid. 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 Okay. We'll move to the next shape. The next shape is called ovoid. Repeat with me. Ovoid. Like how we say oval shape. This is ovoid. Oval is 2D. Flat piece. Okay. Like a oval inset that you have. Like the tennis racket that you have. The head of it. Okay. But ovoid is more like you know to hold in your hand like that. Shall we take a closer look at how an ovoid will be? Come. This is your ovoid. See it is pointed here. But shall we check how it's the other end? Is it pointed here like this? No. Flat. Pointed. This is ovoid. If you see the ellipsoid, you'll find it. Both sides are same. This is ellipsoid. This is ovoid. Only one side. And now let us see. It can go back and forth. And let us see if it can go in circles. No, not like the cone. It cannot. It can spin. But only back and forth. Okay. 
Now let's look at the shapes that you have seen in ovoid. You tell me, where have you seen the shape? Egg. Uh, the moment I say egg, some of you would have told even Kinder Joy. The chocolate which comes with a cream and a chocolate for you to eat and with a toy in it, right? Yes. And maybe a little spoon also. So that's ovoid. That shape is a perfect ovoid. Okay. Just like the egg. Then where else have you seen? You should be able to see it like this also. Maybe you would have seen faces like this. Okay. Ovoid shape. Just take a look at mommy and daddy's face and see is it ovoid shape or ellipsoid shape like that. Then balloon. Have you seen balloons? They will be like this. Okay. Then brinjal. Imagine the brinjal has this head on top. Brinjal. Then avocado. Have you tried the avocado? Yes. Avocado and maybe sometimes the olives and some wild fruits also you'll see in the shape okay so check whenever you go around to the vegetable shop or you go around to the park or anywhere in your hometown look at the trees do you see an ovoid shape thing or do you see an ellipsoid shape thing like that you have to check okay so the name was ellipsoid both are same on either sides both are same ellipsoid and ovoid where it is pointed on one edge and flatter on the other okay both sides are curved only but all sides are curved but this is a little more tapered okay ovoid now we'll see the next shape the next shape is called as pyramids and i have two of it what do you see here in the pyramid? Take a good look. Both are pyramids. Now you have to tell me how they look. They look pointy pyramids. And they have triangle face. Both have triangle face. Okay. But now let's look at the base. How is the base? One has got a square base. And the other has got a triangle base. Rest of it is the same. They have a one triangle face here. And this also has triangle face. This is pointy. This one is also pointy. But if you look at the base, one is square and the other is triangle. So this is called square based pyramid. Square based pyramid. And this is called triangle based pyramid. Very easy, no? Square based pyramid and triangle based pyramid. And if you see, because it is square, it will have four sides. One, two, three, four. Okay. And see, it has one. If I am going to put my finger here, one, two, three and four. This has only three sides, but one, two, three. 1, 2, 3. Okay. So square based pyramid, triangle based pyramid. Let's put it on a base and see. So you have your square based pyramid which will go on a square and a triangle based pyramid will sit on a triangle. What happens if I put it the other way? See, it's not fitting. And if I try to put this on it, it just would not sit there isn't enough place for it so this is called a square based pyramid and this is called a triangle based pyramid now we look at the shapes that we look around like a square or triangle pyramid you would have seen these shapes the pyramid shapes on buildings yeah on top of the buildings on the roof of the buildings maybe on the building like a temple gopuram Yes, you will see it on the temple or you might even see it on top of the churches. Okay, on top of the building or sometimes on top of the castle also. Okay, and then uh, where else you have seen the cell phone tower. Have you seen the cell phone tower? Yes, the tall one, very, very, very tall one. Yeah, 
uh, I'm not sure what is the base of it, but mostly I think it is a square based uh, pyramid only. Okay, that is there. Then um, other than buildings, you have you come across these uh, um, pyramids in the African country? Yes, the pyramid, the great pyramids. The M2 children will know because they are learning about Africa right now. You would have come across this pyramid. Okay then the great pyramid and uh, tent have you seen the shapes in tent yes the tents which are you know made of canvas which you go for camping maybe it is in this shape only square based pyramid not triangle but definitely square based pyramid for tent then you would have seen it in um, where else then have you seen the cones the traffic cones Yes, the yellow color traffic cones which will have this warning signs on it like you know stop or you which will not let your vehicles come and park in one place or maybe in the malls you would have seen they would have put in certain places for uh, you know wet floor so you are not allowed to walk there. What happens if you go to the wet floor? You will slip and fall or maybe some work is happening, work in progress somebody may be painting the wall there on top and when you just if this caution thing is not put there the paint will spill on you is it not yeah so you'll find this kind of cones this cone also the other way also the 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 first cone which i gave you as well as this pyramid also this kind also will be there pyramid uh, square based pyramid or triangle based pyramid for traffic cones it will be there so this is what we learned today. Shall we re uh, see all of it one more time? Come. So two shapes like this. One is called the ovoid. Take a good look at ovoid. And the other is called ellipsoid. Okay. Ellipsoid, ovoid. Can you tell me one more time? Ovoid ellipsoid for you to remember ovoid shape you will have eggs and for ellipsoid shapes you might have watermelon and kiwi fruit let's see the next two shapes that we saw both were pyramids pyramids Bo both will have a pointy edge and triangle faces but if you see the base one is square based and the other is triangle based. This is called square based pyramid. This is called triangle based pyramid. Tell me again. Square based pyramid. Triangle based pyramid. So that is your geometric solids of ovoid ellipsoid and pyramids two of it square and triangle based pyramid i want you to go check around you for these shapes and if you find it m2 children can go get objects which are in this shape okay m1 and m2 both of you can try and get objects which are similar like i said kiwi fruit for ellipsoid one will be enough just one egg for ovoid or a gopuram for a square base pyramid and a cone for triangle base pyramid if you have found something different most welcome i would love to see that in your scrapbook okay so when you come for submission let me see how many of you have made wonderful discoveries in your scrapbook okay i'll meet you all in another video bye bye